you're watching this video, you successfully made it to layer seven of that OSI model where we give you nothing but that application you can apply directly to your life. I'm your host, Dewan. Yes, I'm your host on IT Career Questions. Shout out to my boy, Zach. He gave me the opportunity to be a host on his channel while he gets his studio up and running. And I'm a hundred percent, a thousand percent thankful for this opportunity, Zach. Let's talk about making six figures and what that looks like in IT. For the majority of my career, I made under, let's say 55,000. And that's for probably about 15 years of my career. I couldn't figure out how to get over that threshold. It was super challenging. I thought because of my experience, because of my military background, because of my knowledge and because of my good looks that I would get 100K. But that wasn't, that wasn't possible. So what I ended up doing, and I'll talk more about that in this video, is I revamped my skills. I started working on my interpersonal skills. I started being a part of more projects and I started building more relationships. We'll talk about these five tips in this video in more in depth. But the first thing I want to address is for those of you that are new to IT and looking for your first job. Now, you may want to get in IT because you heard that you can make six figures. And this is true. People every day enter IT and get offered six figure positions. Now, there's some huge caveats to that. One, where are you located? If you're in the Midwest and you're trying to get six figures right in IT, that's going to be tougher than if you were on the West Coast or the East Coast. They pay a lot more for entry level positions than they do in smaller towns and Midwest regions. You can look it up, do the math on Indeed, talk to recruiters, find out information for yourself. And I'm not telling you not to ask for six figures. I'm just telling you where it's easier to get six figures at an entry level position. And you also have to think about the cost of living is higher on the coast as well. Now, another thing to think about if you're entering IT and looking for six figures, getting six figures on the help desk versus getting six figures as a software developer that's doing artificial intelligence or data science. You got to think about that, too. So entry level help desk positions making six figures, probably not. But someone that's doing data science or someone that's in a security position that's in high demand, those positions that are specific skill sets, those are more likely to get you more money. Now, let's talk about the first tip on how you can make six figures in 2021. The first tip, IT certifications. No, I'm not talking about your typical entry level certifications. I'm talking about your higher level certifications. Yes, get your A+, get your security+, plus, get your CCNA. But if you really want to make six figures, go higher up the ladder all the way to the top. So that could be your AWS architect, your CCIE, the CISSP, those advanced cloud certifications, all of those top level certifications will put you in the directions of six figures. I'm not saying you get these certifications and you'll automatically get six figures, but let's be honest. If you're putting in the work to gain that type of knowledge and you're doing it the right way, six figures is around the corner for you. All you need to do is get experience. Number two, projects. This is for those of you that are in the field currently. Look, if you're in an environment to where you have the opportunity to touch technologies that are in demand, Let's say you have AWS cloud, you have um, Azure or some other cloud platform, and you can get a ton of experience on this. What I would do is focus on projects in these realms if that's what you're interested in. High level projects. How many infrastructures can you stand up? What challenges can you solve in your current cloud environment that you can add value to your organization and then add value to your resume? If you're a network engineer, how can you take on projects and lead projects in your organization because making six figures it's not about people that can do a job it's more so about people that can solve high level problems high level designs high level imp implementations mass deployments that's six figure work so when you think about your current environment if you're doing help desk tickets all day that's not going to get you in the direction of six figures. I'm not saying it's not going to add value to your skill set. You really have to step outside of your comfort zone to be able to tell an interviewer, okay, this is how much I want to make and here's why. Number three, 
How do you brand yourself online? And yes, people don't like the term branding. I get it. It's kind of cheesy, but let's just be 100% honest. Your branding makes an employer's job easier when they're looking for a particular skill set. So if you're a network engineer, you're fluent in ACI deployments. Now all an employer has to do is check your LinkedIn, check your blog, check your YouTube, and they see exactly what you know. Now all they have to do is bring you into an interview and you knock that right out the park. But again, if you're gonna put your knowledge out there, make sure you're prepared when you walk in that interview. So when we talk about branding on LinkedIn, in all seriousness, your LinkedIn should align with where you wanna go. If you wanna be a network architect, then follow network architects, follow network managers, put out content around network architecture and network designs, network implementation, put out content around that. And then next thing you know, you're surrounded by opportunity that you didn't even have to apply for because people see that you have the skill set. So while you're putting out this content and you're building your branding, you want to be a network architect. Now you have your CCIE, you've done projects, you're building your brand, making six figures for you will be a whole lot easier. And this goes for software developers as well. If you have a GitHub, you need to be putting code on your GitHub. You need to be putting out content around the software that you are learning, the programming languages that you are learning, the skills that you are building, the HTML designs that you are deploying, all of that. You need to be building and presenting to the world so it makes an employer's job easier when they're looking for your skill set. Number four, it goes in line with branding, networking, relationships. So let's let's talk about that from the from the beginning. If you're in the field now, I found myself kind of chasing the carrot often because I would get in the job and then I realized this isn't really the job I want or the job is pretty easy. Now I'm looking for my next opportunity immediately. But for some, for some reason, I always did my best to represent myself and my family in every job I had. And I always treat people the way I want to be treated. And what I mean by this, when you're in any job, make sure you're representing yourself to your full potential. You may not like that job, but those relationships that you have in that current workplace can pay dividends if you just do the right thing. Learn, give back knowledge, work with your team, be a team player. Learn how to communicate with your manager. What do they require of you? How do they communicate? Building those skills, those interpersonal skills, those workplace relationships will definitely help you make six figures because you may leave this job and go to your next job and your coworker may be in a position making six figures and they say, hey, I know DeWine was in this position and he knows this inside and out and they come calling your phone to bring you with them. Your manager the same way. Your manager three years from now could be at, let's say, Apple. And then they say, hey, DeWine was an excellent engineer. I need him on my team. So you, whoever you are, build those relationships, represent yourself in the workplace. And then on social media, add valuable content in relationships on social media. If there's a company you want to work, find the hiring managers and try to friend them. Build those connections with them. A lot of making six figures is not about your skills. There's so many other pieces involved to help you get there. Number five is all about education. Let's break this down. Number one, I mentioned certifications. Number two, I mentioned projects. Number three, I mentioned branding. Number four, I mentioned relationships. And number five is going to be education. What is education? It could be a college degree. Sometimes in business, it isn't about your skill set. Sometimes making six figures is understanding the business. So being educated in whatever organization you are in or want to work, understanding what they do and how they do it and why they do it can make you a really valuable asset to an organization. So how do you learn business? Researching the business, being educated in whatever business that you model that you're in or going to college and understanding business to be able to do that better. Also, 
with that education, joining a group like to Toastmasters to help you with those interpersonal skills, being educated to be able to communicate effectively, take notes effectively, research effectively, add feedback effectively. All of these skills are needed when it comes to leadership, when it comes to being a leader in a team, because don't take it for granted. You make six figures in the Midwest, you are going to be a senior position that's going to be required to do some form of leadership. You may not have people that directly report to you, but you will be leading projects. You're going to be someone that they look up to in the organization. So in order to take your career to the next level, you're going to have to take yourself to the next level. And a lot of times this happened before the money comes. So my recommendation to you, don't ever chase the money. It's not about that. It's more so about being in valuable situations, being in valuable organizations and learning the technologies that you want to learn. Once you get to a position to where you have done all of these five tips that I recommend, now you're in a position to take control of your career. Six figures won't be a problem. Now you'll be talking 150 or 200K. All of that is possible, even more than that. It's not about the money. It's about you adding value to an organization and improving yourself. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks again to my boy Zach for allowing me this opportunity. Please be sure to subscribe to his channel, subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it out to your friends if you found it helpful. And I would love to hear your feedback on making six figures in the comment section below. I thank you all for watching this video and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.